Now this Maine's uh, Attorney General is bringing all of his resources to bear in the legal fight over the Affordable Care Act. Last week, the Trump administration filed a legal briefing arguing that the ACA, also known as Obamacare, is unconstitutional and should be struck down by the U.S. Supreme Court. Supporters of the program say guaranteed health coverage is needed now more than ever with the coronavirus pandemic raging across the country, combined with job losses, leaving millions of Americans uninsured. Another 2 million Americans would lose coverage if the ACA vanished, including 83,000 Mainers. As Maine's Attorney General uh, spoke to reporters today about his efforts to partner with like-minded AGs in other states to defend the ACA in the courts. So when you have somebody like uh, President Trump or, or, or states who are saying, you know what, uh, let's just get rid of the ACA and then we'll figure out where we go from here, that is just inviting chaos. And chaos is exactly the opposite of what we need when people are planning, uh, you know, how to deal with important uh, health considerations for themselves, for their families, for their loved ones. Um, and so as long as I have the privilege of serving as Maine's Attorney General, I'm going to support the Affordable Care Act through litigation. For his part, President Trump says he wants to give Americans a better health care system that continues to protect people with pre-existing conditions. But his administration and many Republicans in Congress have not offered an alternative plan. The Supreme Court is expected to hear oral arguments on the president's challenge to Obamacare sometime during the fall.